<gasps> the dramatic dream. I found the time stone. If I can get it, I might be able to go back in time and to find examples about Tectone. Might just be a bully. <laughs> Okay, I'm in the space continuum. Ugh. I have to stabilize myself. <sighs> I'm the present. All right, I think I'm back. <sighs> I do not recommend that for anybody. Time stone, so powerful. <sighs> All right, I think I found the video. It's gonna prove. It's gonna prove that Tectone is in possession of the soul stone. The most powerful of all the infinity stones. The one that can control even content creators' minds. Here we have Gotcha Smack, if, uh, which is now a predominant Gotcha streamer. And he's friends with Tectone. He actually visited Tectone with Vulcan not too long ago in Texas. Don't worry, I won't do this forever. I just have to stabilize a little bit more. It's hard for me to talk and to stay in this realm. But in this video, he basically says, Tectone apologized, here's my response, because apparently there's some issues with him in Tectone in the past, and they've squashed their beef, and I'm just trying to see if there's some past issues with Tectone being a bully with other content creators, because I don't really know. All right, let's play the video. My gratitude for having my back in this situation. Truly, I'm thankful. I love you guys for that. That's awesome. I didn't expect that much support. I agree. I don't get that much support, but the ones that I do have as my supporters, <sighs> even though you shouldn't trust me and like me and feel for me and believe me and all this stuff, but at the same time, I appreciate you commenting and saying that, okay? I want to just say that right off the bat. I appreciate, I appreciate the dramatic dream for helping me get the time stone. I appreciate um, the person telling me to look at the um, lawsuit video to find out that Tectone referenced my name. I, I appreciate all you people. I appreciate it um, equally. But I also want to address the fact that let's not pretend like some of y'all didn't just hop on the train and expect me to commandeer the hate fucking ship into Tectone's chest. Some of y'all don't give a damn about me. You're just here to try and get this man canceled because you hate him for one. Okay, so something that he did that potentially led to the community revolting against Tectone. Okay, I feel like, oh, sorry, there's a time distortion there. Singular moment that occurred between you guys, or maybe a number of moments. But you know what, man? I, I, I'm not supporting that shit, bro. Absolutely not. Because you know what? I am uh, I found a glass that I can drink out of while I'm in the time distortion area. I'm mature enough to realize that none of us are perfect. We've all had flaws. We've all made mistakes. We definitely have. I've mentioned that in the past about my flaws and that I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. I agree. Gotcha. Mistakes we aren't proud of and will continue to do so. Sorry. I had a little trouble there. It was hard for me to drink and be in the time distortion at the same time. So, guys, one of the most toxic weapons utilized by humanity in today's society is the ability to relinquish the thought of anything good somebody has committed and retain everything bad that they have committed. It's very good. It's a very good point, gotcha. I agree. And I should relinquish all the bad that Tecton has done to me, but I just can't yet. Not with him having the soul stone. I'm I must I must continue. I cannot stand this shit on the internet. And it's like no matter how much good somebody does, whatever they did bad, that is the only thing you guys remember.
That is kind of true, but at the same time, when somebody has a soul stone and can wield it against any content creator in any community and have that directed at somebody else like Plazuka's, uh, it's very difficult to not think about right now and all the past issues. And it's so toxic because if the shoe was on the other foot, you wouldn't last a single second. There I've, I've lasted two weeks with the shoe being on the other foot. I've been called every name in the book. I mean, borderline. It's been pretty bad, but I've dealt with it. I even made a video saying I wasn't, I even had to make a video that saying I wasn't insane because of it. There is so much hate in my comment section for this man. It is uncanny. I mean, God. I've never seen that. I've only seen love for Tectone. I've only seen, I want to, I don't want to see the day, but I'm just surprised that this time Stone has revealed so much about Tectone's past. God damn, bro. Y'all are acting like he committed genocide. What? Acting like this man. How far are we going back to world war? We don't want to go that far back. And like threatened my life or threatened my family or said something personal. Bro, he, he played me a little bit. That was it. Sounds like the tech don't I know. <laughs> it sounds like the tech don't I know, but he got a little we got a little worse because he's not playing any games anymore. He's calling my name in defamation and liars areas and videos now. Now in the real world, that's a that's a simple little hash it out talk and that's it. Dap it up and You see, if I was trying to be a content creator, I would have hashed it up. I would have mended my fences and gained the popularity that Tech Tone provided me. But I'm not, because I'm here to spread a message, okay? Not because I'm better than anybody. Not because you can trust me more than anybody. It's because it's something that I believe in. I love video games, and I want to try to, like, spread a little fucking nostalgia. Spread a little traditional game and enthusiasm to the world, okay? You know, I've been called a nerd. I've been called all these things because I'm making all these videos that are weird and, you know, kind of like fanboyish for Marvel Cinematic Universe or whatever else. I, I love Star Wars. I love Star Trek. Come on. This is my jam. This is what I love. Hate me, love me, all the things. Doesn't matter. I, I, I'm, a, I'm about as a complete of a man as I possibly can be. I have flaws. I have things I'm still fixing. But I've come a long way in my life. Thank you. You know, continue on with our lives. But come on, let's have a... Let's have a real moment here. Let's not sit here and pretend like my man is just Satan himself. Wow, I didn't say it. Got your smacks in it. Okay. I've seen this dude put smiles on many people's faces. He Same. I mean, I can't deny that. Two weeks, I've seen smiles on faces. Not like real smiles, not like real people, but um, I apparently in chat they're happy. Uh, I I presume. I mean, as happy as any like. I don't know. Person can be under the the lordship of King Tectone. He's made me laugh so many damn times while I was bored as I've laughed. I have laughed. I've laughed with him. I've laughed at him. I've definitely laughed. I've had a good few laughs. I'm not gonna lie. This has been quite the adventure. Um quite the experience, first and foremost. Hail at night, couldn't sleep. Tuned into his stream, boy had me fall. Um, there was that one time where he said, there was this one time at Bandcamp where Tectone basically said, um, what we do, we do tired, you can't actually, because I made that video of gotcha, uh, the gotcha wars, and I said at the end, I can't do it tonight because I'm too tired. And then he has his reaction, oh, you're too tired, you can't. Well, I stayed up, and I made the video. The video that showed Tectone being a hypocrite. One of my greatest milestones yet. In the, in the gotchas. I don't want to keep on saying the, the W A R word because it's going to be taken out of context. I'm a little worried about that. But it, it's um, I'm not worried about it because God knows, um, Tectone has said the R word, and predominantly more things he says on the stream every day is more is worse than anything I've said in my whole entire life. So I mean, come on. Falling out laughing. Uh, he's put a smile on some of y'all's faces that hate him right now. It's crazy to me. Like, let's why why do we have to do this? Why do we have to put people inside of a box and put an asterisk next next to their name and define them as an asshole for all eternity? 
it's ridiculous guys it, this has to stop this e uh this eternal cycle of perpetual See, i had a happy face king tech don't i had a happy face i had a happy face please please don't punish me king tech don't please don't punish me waiting hatred by only retaining what somebody has done bad it's it's absolutely i mean real talk like tech tone likes to say i agree with this like ultimately i do agree with this and i want it to be very clear whatever it feels like whatever how high or low or whatever this goes like no harm to anybody ever this is all for entertainment for the most part, other than the fact that my message is very clear for video games. My message is clear, but I will not go. I mean, I, I, it should be implied already. I'm not going to go to the extreme and, and nor would I ever go. Like, what the hell is that talk? All I can do is talk and debate. And if that doesn't fix anything or if that doesn't solve anything, then I have to live with that. I've lived with the rest of the world being fucking in chaos for the last X amount of years. I can't do anything about it. Okay, I just have to live in it. And, the, and if the video game industry doesn't change, then I have to live in it. But I won't just stand by right now when I have the platform to try to make a change. Whatever change that is, however convoluted or confusing or, 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 or whatever the mixed signals are. Like, it's been very clear to me what the change is. You know, 99 cent bundle. Couldn't even do that. Tecto couldn't even do that. Even though months ago he, he spent on the Robin banner and then said two things as to why he didn't do it, that he did do it. And... It's just hypocritical, you know? Transparency. Transparency, Tectone. I'm sorry, King Tectone. I, I apologize. <laughs> Preposterous. And I'm not about to sit here and support that. It's just not okay for me, man. Right. Now, I want to make it clear here. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. The point Very is clear. to hold somebody accountable when they're out of pocket, which we, we addressed it. Mm -hmm. We did. And guess what? My brother apologized. He did. He did. And your platform has grown since. Almost as if this is how it works. You take whatever Tectone gives you, take your lumps, then you come to some form of compromise or, you know, Tectone apologizes. He is revered. He not only gains his followers, he gains your followers, and you all just mesh. Almost as if someone owns the Soul Stone and is able to wield this power with immense consistency. Funniest thing is, a lot of people in that comment section sure as hell were 100% certain that he wasn't going to apologize, that he was just instead going to deflect the blame and maybe even play the victim. And maybe I'm proud of you, Tectone. I'm proud of you. I really am. So I want you to apologize to me, sure. Yes. Will that stop this? To some degree, it will stop this, but it won't entirely. Because this has always been about entertainment. This has always been about, you know, me winning this entertainment thing. You consider yourself the greatest. You can see yourself high on the mount on the mountain of Sinai. Okay, I'm I'm above the clouds, looking down on you. Okay, make me look like I'm the one who's bad. My brother literally said, my bad, homie. I was tired as fuck during that react. The dev live stream made me stay up all night. Uh, that's why I didn't upload it to YouTube. I'll let my Twitch community know that I was being dumb, but my bad again, homie. If you want to DM or hash anything out, I got nothing but respect for you, big man. Going forward, I won't react to your content without your permission. Sorry for any trouble I caused. It wasn't my intention. And you're right about me being the last person to talk about someone being angry. Bro, that takes a lot. Wow, wow, wow. 11 months, 11 months. Wow, wow, wow. It seems like there's a history. It seems like there's a trend. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. See that, that, that word. Jesus, what happened? A lot of balls, man. Whoa, that was a cool effect. Wow, gotcha smack, you got some production value here. See what it says. Oh, I can't read that anyways, but doesn't matter. Okay, sorry, chat. This person to talk about someone being angry. You read it hey, out. That was not my intention. Out. I did not know you was dealing with it like that. Good lord. We're all dealing with things. You don't know what people are dealing with half the time. I deal with a lot of things every day. 
you know, even though I'm like a machine and I post content, I still deal with things. I still have my personal life to deal with. How do I do that and this? I don't know. The time stone has helped today, clearly. Um, thank you. Thank you, time stone. I have to bring it back, though, before it goes, before somebody finds it's missing, because there could be a calamity in the universe, multiverse. But it's, it's, it's hashed, squashed. This is how squashed. it's supposed to be between adults. Squashed. Not all this dumbass going around each other's back, talking all this shit, squashed. making people out to look like they're villains, like they belong. Okay, 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 okay. To be fair, to be fair, Tectone has not looked has not made me look like a villain. He's made me look like a mentally ill person that needs to get uh, treated at a mental hospital urgently. I don't know what's worse. I don't know if I'd rather be um, a Darth Vader or um, a Khan from Star Trek or... I don't even know. My my brain is I, I, there's a lot of happening here with the time distortion and in the, in the um continu continuum. But you know what I mean? You know, I don't know. I think I'd rather be evil. I think I'd rather be compared to evil than a mentally ill person that needs to go seek treatment. I think I think that would be al I think that would be a better alternative. So, you know what, gosh, Smack? I think you had it better than me. Oh, like the goddamn Griffith from Berserk. You know, I I don't understand. I don't know who that is. I don't, I don't watch a lot of anime. Stand this, man. And I don't think people understand the detrimental effect of only retaining what somebody's done uh, on the bad side of things. Uh -huh. Man, there was, I'll give you a story. A little smack right, lore. I know you guys enjoy. What is it? I don't even know what he said. He just said a smackaroo. Okay. Boy, my stories. There was a time in college where I played basketball. Okay. I was a tremendous basketball player. I believe you. Uh, I, I was a tremendous basketball player in high school as well. Now, a good degree of time passed before I went off to college, but I did eventually return back to playing basketball and had to shake some rust off. This was the first season. I, I performed incredibly well on a great uh, number of games. I was uh, one of the best players on the team without a shadow of a doubt top three no yeah, question top. and whether i was the best player on the team well that's up for everybody else to decide besides the point there was one game okay. where i okay i'll be honest with you no shade to gotcha smack i find basketball extremely boring um i don't watch many sports i only watch football for fantasy football and i haven't even done that lately because of all the concussions and injuries that happen and you just not consistent anymore it's so hard to figure out what player is going to stay on the battlefield <laughs> the ball field for uh the football field for longer than a couple seconds sorry it was my i got my mixed my my, my mind it's the time stone is doing it okay moving on we're not gonna we're not gonna have this story i'm sorry i got you smack good to the team then i did next okay the long story you know i give you everything i had i okay. translate that into right. content creators uh a lot of us give y'all our heart, our soul, our fucking everything, man. I believe that. I Well, first of all, if you're on the grind, 100%. Not to speak for myself, but speaking for myself, uh, I've grinded a lot. I've grinded a lot. And so far, I don't regret it. Um, so far, it's been worth it. So you're welcome. But it's more for me than you, so. But I agree with Gotcha Smack. Content creators do grind. It is not easy work. But it needs to be more transparent. And it needs to be done, in my opinion, with a bit more tact and integrity. Um, that's just my opinion. You don't have to. You can be a tech tone, and if you are, Eventually, in the infinite amount of time and space, someone like me is going to come about, come around and hold you accountable. And slap that hand out of the cookie jar. You got to slap it out of the cookie jar. You've been bad. And when all you do is retain the bad thing that we've done, that yeah. is easily the most fucked up thing you could do to somebody. It's true. Like, the criminal justice system in America is you go to jail, you do your time, and you come out. You shouldn't have to continue to have that weight against you, but you do. The culture in America is you're guilty forever, basically, um, for the most part. If you're wealthy enough, you know, there are some exceptions, you know, and then your family might forgive you, blah, 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 blah. But 
Our culture is pretty fucking vindictive uh, and judgmental. So good luck with that, Gotcha Smack. This is idealist talk, and I appreciate it, and I, I respect it, and I definitely want that from for everybody. But the reality is that's not the that's not the that's not the world we live in. You know, because these nobody's all bad, bro. Just like nobody is all good. That's true. Uh, I, you know, I have no commentary here. Hundred percent true. Thank you. Very good. Point. Again, I've seen this man do so many good things in his live streams, give away thousands sure. of fucking dollars. I've seen him at the. Sure. Congratulations. I mean, technically, Bill Gates was a philanthropist. Um, uh, I'm not going to compare him to that because that would be really bad. Who else? Who else can I say is a philanthropist that is not actually a, technically a good person? Like, there's plenty of people that are philanthrop philanthropists that are bad people the anime expo recently he had at least 300 goddamn requests to take pictures of him people were super thrilled oh my gosh that's his fan base of course they are they're infatuated with content creators they're infatuated with celebrities i'll say it again and i'll repeat this i'm not a content creator um i'm not famous if i ever were i would never meet any of you in person if i knew you're a fan walk away from you as soon as I as, as quick as I can because I think that is not healthy that dynamic is naturally unhealthy you know it is unfortunate that popularity and celebrity and being revered um comes with that but in my opinion it does and I'd rather people um know me for for you know everything outside of my success or my popularity and uh, i think because a lot of times it's not it's not real what you see is not real it, it's same like ask me about my family ask me about my you know friends or my ch or my children like all these things like that's real but you don't need to know that for me to have a conversation and to provide content and excited to do so and he didn't turn down a single soul oh maybe this was the video that i had this was 11 months ago so this was yeah it's about a year ago so it's probably the same basic video i don't want to do this because i don't want to expose anybody else like i already said this i don't want to expose kids and man all right this is not uh what is it one f uh all for one <laughs> this is not vegeta and his art and his and his villain arc <laughs> i really need to watch anime that's the one thing I've lacked in my ability to relate, have a conversation with is anything, anything dealing with anime. I'm, I'm very like, I am so bad at anime that One Piece live animated um, Netflix is basically the only thing I've ever watched. And I like that actually, admittedly. I thought that production was very good. Now, the other one, the, um, the one that was just recently there, Airbender, Pfft. did not like that at all. You know, this guy is literally a polarizing character who happens to be very bold, uh, outgoing. I don't know if bold is the right term I would use. I'm not going to say it, but uh, there's other words I would use besides bold. Going and um, genuine and unapologetically him, and that's okay. I well, that's not true because he apologized to you. So he does have it in him. I love those type of individuals, man. That's how I am. Hell. Okay. Okay. That's good. I agree to some extent. Based on my four part series, Gotcha Smack, his editor tried to um, get him canceled and yet he fired his editor instead. Like, it's a good series, by the way, if you got to check that out. I'm not trying to, like, promote my content because I'm in the time distortion, but I mean, if you do want it in your timeline, check it out. Go ahead. It's pretty good. And in life, naturally, you start at part one, you go all the way to part four. As I've told y'all, I'm an ass. It's only like, it's only like 28 hours long. Asshole. But, you know, the, the whole purpose of this video mm -hmm. is, yes, to defend Tech Tone from people trying to. Whoa. I told you. This plot deepens. And we're going to end it here because it's getting long. And I. Oh, I can feel it. I'm disconnecting from the time distortion. But that's the proof. That the soul stone exists. I know the time stone. We'll be safe where I leave it. But he's got access to three more stones.
So I need to find him. Two. Uh, if you like this content, like, 